Hello, fellow Mac users. If you're watching this, your Mac probably acts too slow or freezes unexpectedly. Or maybe you just want to take some precautions and learn some RAM usage Mac hacks for the future. Either way, good for you. We know how to help. Let us start with the magic wand. Meet AppTamer, a menu bar app that can tame unruly Mac processes for you. You can access it through SetApp and use it as a background monitor. Here's what it looks like. You can see how it logs your app's activity and slows down those apps that waste your CPU for no obvious reason, so you can manually choose any process and slow it down. CPU consumption is tightly connected with RAM, so by freezing up some CPU, you'll also free up memory, which is great. If you're wondering why is my Mac using so much RAM and want to look into a specific process that hampers your Mac, we recommend doing it with iStat menus. iStat offers many advanced monitors for your menu bar, including the CPU and GPU monitor. By clicking on it at any time of the day, you can check a detailed breakdown of your memory consumption in real time. It even distinguishes between wired, active, and compressed RAM, which gives you insights into whether your RAM is mostly used by apps or system processes. Now, if you see RAM consumption skyrocketing, how do you quickly bring it down? The best shortcut lives in Clean My Mac X. Let me show you. You can access maintenance, choose free up RAM, run, and it's done. Clean My Mac gets rid of all the redundant stuff that's using up your memory, so you don't have to terminate each of those processes manually. Of course, if you don't have Clean My Mac X, you can make use of Activity Monitor. Here you can sort all active processes by memory usage. Click on those that are the biggest hogs, then click the X to close each of them. What's important is, you should make sure you're not closing any critical system processes. For example, you might find that kernel task eats up a big chunk of your Mac's resources, but it's important to keep it running because kernel task is responsible for regulating your Mac's temperature. If you find that the greatest villain ridding your Mac of RAM is your browser, we have a tip for you. Actually, three tips. First, remove redundant browser extensions. They usually seriously increase RAM consumption. Clean My Mac X that we've mentioned before has a cleaner module specifically for extensions. You'll find it here under Maintenance. Here you can choose your browser, select Extensions, and click Remove. If you use Chrome, you can kill some Chrome processes to reduce RAM usage on Mac. To do that, click the three dots in Chrome, More Tools, Task Manager, close all non-critical processes. And of course, you should remember that the more browser tabs you have open, the higher CPU and RAM consumption. If you have set app, we recommend installing Tab Finder, which can help you develop a habit to close browser tabs from a single list. It's particularly useful if you use more than one browser because Tab Finder brings together tabs from everywhere. So that's how to lower RAM usage on Mac. We hope you found a fix that works great for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.